is a guest at my table and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for checking it out. I am your host, Kelsey. At the start of every video, I like to read a quote by Yogi T. No, it's not sponsored. I just know everyone needs a little inspiration in their lives. So reading this together for the first time. The principal ingredient of life is love. Aw, that's so cute. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of that quote. For those curious, I'm drinking mango ginger today. Got my cute little R2D2 cup. And on the back it says bleep, bleep, bloop. That's literally how I feel. And the real life version of R2D2. Today is Tuesday and it's not any regular Taco Tuesday. We're doing Taco Pasta Tuesday. I figured I would spin it up a little bit from the regular. I got a pound of ground beef. Feel free to use chicken or turkey if you'd like, or make it vegetarian, that's totally up to you. I have two cans of beans here. Again, pick any bean that you like. Today I went with black beans and a dark red kidney bean. I have this protein rotini here. I love these protein pastas. I feel like a lot of people don't get enough protein in their in their daily lives so this definitely helps with that I have three quarter cups of beef broth one packet of taco seasoning a can of diced tomatoes this one specifically has green chilies I just like it it has it adds <laughs> has has Woo! too much caffeine today it adds a little extra pizzazz to the dish. I have 16 ounces of tomato sauce here. Black olives, it was 2.25 ounce can that I drained here. Not everyone loves olives, so if you don't like olives, skip out on that. I have eight cloves of freshly chopped garlic. Mm. One cup of frozen corn. I used a sweet white corn half a cup of frozen onions. It's just what I had on hand, so figured I would use that. And then one third cup of masa. I already have my water for the pasta boiling with some salt on the stove, and I... <laughs> I'll meet you at the stove. I have my pan on a medium heat here. As previously stated, I already have this one coming to a boil. I'm glad I did that. That's super helpful. I'm going to add just a tad of this beef broth to the pan here. To that I'll add the onion. The onion. <laughs> Ingenuity, right? And the garlic. Watch out, vampires. Maybe garlic doesn't actually hurt vampires, and they're just like, man, you got some stinky breath. I thought I had stinky breath because I'm like 500 years old. I'm going to allow these to cook down for a couple of minutes. What you're looking for is some translucency. <laughs> what? What you're looking for is that the onions are translucent. There we go. That's what I meant. The onions cooked down there. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Next we will add in this hamburger, this hamburger, maybe, it's stuck, woo! Let me know if any of you out there have this much energy. I don't know what it was. 
I did have some coffee before filming, so I blame the coffee. But I'm also in a good mood, so maybe both. Yay! I'm really glad I picked a caffeine-free tea. Bleep, bleep, bloop. I might say that all day now. Bleep, bleep, bloop. Say it with me now. Bleep, bleep, bloop. I'm going to allow the beef to brown, which will be just a few minutes here, and I'll see you with the next step. I meant to like Spongebob. <laughs> this hamburger is browned. <laughs> there is a lot of grease in there. You can drain it if you want. I like to keep it for the added flavor. So next we're going to add in the taco seasoning. And rather than using water like the package instructions, I'm using the beef broth. You can certainly use water if you use a different type of beef or if you're going vegetarian. Mmm-mm. This all smells so good. I break my beef up smaller so it spreads more into the pasta, but if you want big and chunky, I like them big. <laughs> you can definitely do that as well. Moto, moto. I didn't even watch Madagascar. That song just always gets stuck in my head. <laughs> chunky. It might look a little runny, but that's fine. We're gonna let this simmer for five minutes. And it might still be a little runny after that, but it'll spread well into the pasta. You wanna stir this occasionally so it doesn't burn. But for now, I'm going to let it rest. <laughs> My dad has a phrase, must rest, so the beef must rest. <laughs> You're gonna learn all my dad's phrases. Oh, whoops. I broke his rule. Must rest. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the water up just a tad here. Oh, it's bubbling. Just making sure that sauce or seasoning rather is fully spread throughout. And then I'm going to let it must rest again. Oh! <laughs> Potatoes ready for taco pasta. Silly girl. I turned the beef on low because it's starting to boil here a little bit. Next is the pasta. Give that a store. <laughs> a store. I 
I'm going for al dente, so it'll boil for about seven minutes or so. You'll want to stir it occasionally. I'm going to let this beef simmer until the pasta is done, just so all those flavors get locked in there. And now it's time to let this stuff must rest. <laughs> While I wait for the pasta to finish up, I'm going to add in the masa to the meat. Masa is totally optional, of course, as everything is, but it just adds a really in-depth dimension to the dish. In-depth dimension. I don't know what that means. I'm being crazy. <laughs> Plus it'll also help soak up some of that grease there. Like so. Oh yeah. only has another couple of minutes. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Luigi. Yay! So the meat doesn't burn here. I'm gonna add in the pasta sauce. It's saucy. like Spongebob and the <laughs> bowl episode. <laughs> Let me know your favorite Spongebob reference because I've referenced Spongebob a few times. Also, let me know what your favorite Spongebob character is. Mine is Gary! Gary, come home. <laughs> Pasta's just about done. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Chef's kiss, perfecto. I'm going to drain this, put it back in the pot, and I'll be back for assembly.
the pasta's drain. I switched these because this burner's off. I still have this one on low. Let's add in all the beans. 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 <laughs> Is the corn. Olives. Potato. And the tomatoes. We'll mix this all together. Don't mind potato. Crazy girl. Potato. Potato. Then we'll mix in our beef mixture here. She goes from barks to snorts in a matter of seconds. <laughs> Silly girl. Oh. All sorts of noises in from the pug posse there. <laughs> oh my god. This is a thicker pasta. You can add some water if you would like. Here's a little runnier, but I think this is the perfect consistency. I'll show you in just a second here. Making sure it's all mixed together. Yum. There it is, fully mixed. Delicious. I'm gonna let this sit for about five minutes so that corn can heat up. Or longer, you can always go longer. Let it sit for five to 20 minutes if you want a more locked in flavor there. But my tummy says, I'm hungry, I'm not waiting the five minutes. There we are. I'm going to see you at the end when I give my taste test. Here's the end result there. I wonder if we can see any of that steam. Come on. No, can't see into the steam. That's okay though. Everything in here has like the perfect ratio. There's nothing too overpowering. I topped it with this taco cheese that I get at Safeway. I found it more recently and it's really good. Let's tasty taste it. Oh, delicious. You know it's good when I can't stop, won't stop. It'd also be really good with some sour cream over the top. Really whatever you desire. If you thought this meal was delicious, please give it a like. If you want to see more pasta dishes, please let me know what they are in the comments down below. And if you want to see more spins on Taco Tuesday, also let me down below. Also let me know down below.
I think Potato and Artemis are excited for this dish. <laughs> if you've made yourself at home, I welcome you to be my guest and hit that subscribe button. That'll be all for today. Bye.